for day 11 of my 2022 Advent Nail Art Series, we have this icy design inspired by the Snow Miser from the Year Without a Santa Claus movie. This is another one of my all-time favorite Christmas movies. I adore the music and the cute characters. Christmas always comes in as a gift of joy and hope because of the miracle we have in Jesus Christ, and this story is yet another beautiful reminder that the love and giving we so cherish will always be there for us on Christmas morning, especially when we take the time to make the holiday special for the people around us. The Snow Miser character from this movie is so funny, and his song is one of my favorites, so I had a lot of fun putting this cute and frosty design together. Have you ever seen this movie? Do you have a favorite character? Leave a comment below, and don't forget to check the caption for more fun things. I hope you're having a truly wonderful day. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow with our Day 12 design. For day 12 of my 2022 Advent Nail Art Series, we have this unique and fun hot cocoa French tip design. Hot cocoa is one of my favorite warm drinks to enjoy around Christmas time and throughout the winter in general, so I thought this would be a fun design to capture one of my favorite sweet treats. As I've said for my other French tip design in this Advent Series, if you're not a fan of a freehand French mani, you can always use some page savers or buy some French tip nail stickers to help you apply a clean tip of polish, and you can easily add the marshmallows with a bobby pin or a toothpick. What's your favorite holiday beverage? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to check the caption for more fun things. I hope you're having a great day. God bless you and I'll see you tomorrow with our day 13 design. For day 13 of my 2022 Advent Nail Art Series, we have this jolly design inspired by Kris Kringle's suit from the Santa Claus is Coming to Town movie. I have created a bunch of designs inspired by Rankin and Bass specials this year and I couldn't leave this one out of the series. I rewatched this one quite a few times recently and every time just shows me more and more how much I adore the heart of this story, which is summed up beautifully by these lines said by the narrator at the end of the movie. What would happen if we all tried to be like Santa and learn to give as only he can give of ourselves, our talents, our love, and our hearts? Maybe if we could all learn Santa's beautiful lesson, maybe there would finally be peace on earth and goodwill toward man. Do you have a favorite Rankin and Bass special? I think they're so heartwarming. Let me know in the comments below. I hope you're having an absolutely beautiful day and I hope you enjoyed this video. God bless you and I'll see you tomorrow with our day 14 design. For day 14 of my 2022 Advent Nail Art Series, we have this super cute and simple design inspired by Big Bird from the Christmas Eve on Sesame Street movie. This classic special is one I grew up watching with my family every year and it's one I always look forward to. Much like with a lot of my other favorite Christmas movies, I love the music and the theme of Christmas miracles and neighborhood celebrations throughout the story. I have a DVD of this movie and Big Bird is wearing a striped scarf on the cover, so that's what today's design is inspired by. Have you ever seen this Christmas special? Do you have a favorite Sesame Street character? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to check the cap for more fun things. I hope you're having a lovely day. God bless you and I'll see you tomorrow with our day 15 design. For day 15 of my 2022 Advent Nail Art Series, I'm sharing this trendy and cute holly French tip design. I've seen this design a few times this year on Instagram and Pinterest, and I think it is such a cute and simple idea. Like I said with my other French tip tutorials for this Advent Series, if you're not a fan of freehand French manis, you can always use some page savers or buy some French tip nail stickers to help you apply a clean tip of polish, and you can easily create the holly details with a toothpick. What's your favorite holiday nail trend this year? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to check the caption for more fun things. I hope you're having a gorgeous just day. God bless you and I'll see you tomorrow with our day 16 design. For day 16 of my 2022 Advent Nail Art Series, we have this cute little snowman design. I absolutely adore doodling snowmen in my sketchbook this time of year, and I have quite a few snowman-themed Christmas decorations, so I thought it'd be fun to put this little guy together in a nail design. As always, feel free to have fun with the colors and expressions of your accent nail or full mani if you decide to recreate this design. I think it would also be really fun to experiment with different accessories for different snowmen if you're doing a full mani. I think that would be really cute. And you can always use a toothpick and a bobby pin for the details. Are you a fan of snowmen? Do you like to build? them or draw them or buy decor themed after them, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to check the caption for more fun things. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. God bless you and I'll see you tomorrow with our day 17 design. For day 17 of my 2022 Advent Nail Art Series, we have this sweet and fun design inspired by the Nutcracker Ballet. I grew up adoring this ballet and all of its wonderful whimsy, so I really wanted to create a design inspired by it. This design includes an element reminiscent of a sparkly pink tutu, as well as some candies and snow. I think this would be such a fun accent nail or a full mani if you're a Nutcracker fan. This year, my family and I actually went to see a beautiful local ballet that was a mix of Nutcracker inspired scenes, as well as some gorgeous dances and music telling the story of Jesus' birth and miracle. It was so beautiful, so wonderful. It was such a blessing to me this year. I really enjoyed it. Are you a fan of the Nutcracker? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to check the caption for more fun things. I hope you're having a lovely day. God bless you and I'll see you tomorrow with our day 18 design. 
For day 18 of my 2022 Advent Nail Art series, I'm sharing this minimal Christmas tree design. My mom showed me a mani with this design from Pinterest recently, and she really liked it, so I thought it would be fun to create something similar. This design is super easy to put together, plus you can match it to a mani any color and use just a toothpick to draw the tree shape. You could also swap out the star topper for a simple dot of polish, some glitter, or even a 3D nail accessory. I think that would be really fun. Would you wear this design? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to check out the caption for more fun things. I hope you're having a truly wonderful day. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow with our day 19 design. For day 19 of my 2022 Advent Nail Art series, I'm sharing this easy and cute snowflake design. Since today is the first night of Hanukkah, I thought it'd be really fun to put together a design with some blue and silvery elements, and I'm really happy with how this one turned out. As always, you could totally use a toothpick to create these little snowflakes and swap out the silvery blue accents for something more pure silver or gold if you prefer, or more blue. Does it ever snow where you live? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to check the caption for more fun things. I hope you're having a fabulous day. God bless you. Happy Hanukkah if you're celebrating today, and I'll see you tomorrow with our day 20 design. For day 20 of my 2022 Advent Nail Art series, we have this sparkly and fun Christmas wreath design. This design turned out super cute and it was so much fun to put together. Very easy too. To achieve the wreath texture, I blotted some of the polish off the brush I was using. You could do the same thing with the actual brush of your polish. And then I stippled it around my nail in a circle. It's such a simple way to create such a pretty design. And you could totally stop here or you could add some white dots or another color for contrast like I did. Either way is so festive. Especially because of the colors I chose, this design really reminds me of something you'd see on a Christmas card and I think it would make a lovely accent nail. Do you like to send and receive Christmas cards? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to check the caption for more fun things. I hope you're having a great day. God bless you and I'll see you tomorrow with our day 21 design.